Hello community. You have an interesting question. Last video I told you about Sora from OpenAI, text to video, or we talked about Gemini 1.5 Pro. And I also told you about an open source model. If you do not want to wait, this is available for you right now. We have language model and vision language model with 1 million token. And you have also, if you look there, a text video generator integrated by the UC Berkeley. So open source, you do not have to wait for OpenAI Sora or Google Gemini 1.5 Pro for 1 million token. However, if you have a look at this, and I showed you this here in my last video, if you just go for here for a world model with a text chat with 1 million token context size, you have either the PyTorch version or the JAX implementation and a highly parallelized version on the Google TPUs. But you asked me, you said, hey, if I just bought a GPU, a gaming GPU, a 16 gigabyte VRAM, or if I go to Google Colab and I have their T4 free, I think it's something like 40, 15 gigabyte of VRAM, can I do text to video something? And I do not want to pay OpenAI and I do not want to pay Google AI Studio. Do I have any chance to create synthetic videos today? Yes, of course, you have. So here we go. And this is a specific video. If you have a 16 gigabyte VRAM GPU or you go in a free call app. The simplest thing I would say is. Look, this is the complete code. You have a pipeline, you have a model by Stability AI, you have a stable video diffusion. And now we go with an image to video model. You upload here a specific image, size 1024 pixel times 576 pixels, and you generate here multiple frames. I generate here 21 frames, and I have here the export to video where my frame rate per second is seven. So I generate a three second video. This takes me, as you can see, four minutes, 38 seconds on a T4. And as you can see here, they show you here 13.2, but I have a peak of 14.6 gigabyte. So I'd really try to go to the absolute what's possible, close to 15 gigabyte. So 21 frames if you provide a starting image. Let's have a look at this. So this was my image that I uploaded. I'm using here now from UC Berkeley here with ring attention, highly parallelized TPU architecture. I create a synthetic video and you see here, this is one of my stills that I created. And now I want to simply create an action for this. And you can imagine I want to dive into this opening here. So I uploaded here exactly this video and close five minutes later, my T4 provided this. As you can see, the complexity is quite hard for a little T4. You see the perspective is not right, but it gives you an impression what it can do. So this is less than five minutes compute time. Beautiful. Let me give you another example. If I upload here this image, this was created after three and a half minutes. So you see, you provide a start image and the model is trained to identify the object, identify what will be the next expected frames, and you can generate here this. But please note that this here is really just within minutes generated here. Synthetic video. Beautiful. Now, another option that we have is we have now Animate Diffuser Pipeline. So we install here our Hugging Face Diffuser. We install our Accelerate from Hugging Face. We go with our torch and then we simply have an adapter. And we choose here a motion adapter from a pre-trained model. Now, this is a beautiful system because now we do not have to provide a starting image. 
But if I have now my pipeline and my scheduler, and never mind whatever are the parameters, you see if I go now here and say output pipeline, and this is now my prompt, start of a modern metallic spaceship with exhaust gases propelled out of the engine, 4K, high resolution, my negative prompt is bad quality, worse quality, low resolution. The number of frames I've chosen with 26, the guidance scale 9.5, number, whatever. And then you can generate here an, a GIF, animation GIF. So let's have a look. This took about 3 minutes and 46 seconds. Now coming back, and this is now really a text to video generation. And here I generated two GIFs for you. And you see here, it's both the same text. And here on the left hand side, you see here a rocket and you see here. Okay, beautiful. This is it. And there is something coming down here in the atmosphere. I have no idea what it is. But this was try number one. And this was try number two. <laughs> so that you have an idea how this looks here in real time with my specific text prompt to create here text to video generation. If you have a Google T4 for you to experience, for you to get familiar with this, but whatever, I have a source for code and a source to make, to help you to learn if you're new to this, and this is Hugging Face. So if you want to start here, I would recommend you go to Hugging Face, you go to Diffusers, and then here with task, you go to text to video or image to video. And then here you have a perfect explanation. You have four different models. I showed you stable diffusion or animate diff. But here you also find the code. Here you find examples. Here you have just beautiful. You just copy the code and you run it and you see here if you want to start with an image and you want to move here a little bit or rotate maybe a little bit, you can generate this very short but very impressive short videos here on your 16 gigabyte VRAM GPU. So there is a way to start with this here also with Animate Div. This is an adapter model, as I told you, beautiful. You have here the code. Look here, this is the official example here from Hugging Face. So you can build here, you can build here your synthetic video, whatever you want. What is nice, there are a little bit of, how to say this, controls you can have. For example, I would like to show you the negative prompt here. The negative prompt is very simple. You have your prompt. Prompt is 360 degree camera shot of a sushi roll in a restaurant. And with a negative prompt added, so you say what you do not want, and here you have the negative prompt added, and here you have the sushi generating itself out of nothing, because you have not defined the negative prompt. This is a beautiful idea. You have further model-specific parameters. You can go there, and if you're interested in a little bit deep dive, for example, here to control the video generation more, and for example, have a look at the control net module or the control net model in itself. I have two videos for you where I explained control net already seven months ago. Nice place, as always, hugging face to start with a simple 16 gigabyte VRAM graphic card and you are in for synthetic video generation. Why not give it a try?